What is going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today is a sad and unfortunate day. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. This 6000 XP that is right here on the wall is coming off the wall. I have to RMA this unit. And it is an unfortunate situation, but it has to be done. Not saying that this thing doesn't work as it should right now. There's a communication issue with the actual board inside here to these batteries. So we have this communication cable going from the comm inside this server rack battery setup. If you guys didn't see this video, go check it out. But I have the CAN port right here and I've been troubleshooting it with the uh, actual team over at Signature Solar and everything we've tested come to trying different ports, trying different settings. The only way we can get this to work is if it's set to lead acid and I actually manually input it to be 600 amp hours for the batteries instead of it actually reading the percentages for the lithium iron phosphate and communicating with the app all perfectly, right? So UPS is actually dropping off a brand new 6000 XP today. I got to get this thing off the wall. We got to get it boxed up and sent back as of right now i'm pulling 1300 watts and i need to actually get into my pdu and shut off the ks zeros i have 10 of them running in my al box two so ks zeros and the al box two i hate shutting those down but i have to do it so we're gonna hit the off button gonna hit okay and you guys are gonna watch how fast that happens boom right down to five watts insane all right everything is off so yeah, now I can pretty much kill everything on this unit. So power going out is off. I'm actually just going to kill the panels coming in because literally everything has to get shut off on this thing. I do have to go outside to the actual uh, gazebo as well and kill that. All right, this unit, we're going to kill her right now. There we go. She's off. Let's go over to the gazebo and kill the uh, input coming in so I don't shock myself there. All right, just had to get a ladder situated here, and we got to kill both of these strings. So now we have nothing coming out of here. Okay, I got to get the cover off here, and I got to get up there. Man, that was a pain in the ass to screw this thing in. I ain't going to lie. The other screws are right there. So, yeah, I mean, this really isn't going to be too bad, but, yeah, it's definitely not going to be super fun. Um, you know, this... This is kind of the unfortunate part about having solar stuff, right? If something goes wrong and things don't work properly, then you're just, you're kind of SOL, shit out of luck, if you know what I mean. There's really nothing you can do about it. You just have to do what the manufacturer says and go from there. But I'm super happy to be dealing with Signature Solar. If you guys haven't purchased anything through them and you're interested in it, I'll leave a link down below. But their customer service is fantastic and I haven't had any issues with these guys literally at all trying to get this thing situated. They've spent time, plenty of time, like an hour or two hours on the phone with me at least troubleshooting this thing. And it's uh just... I mean, time is money, right? Time is everything. And I only had one screw in this thing just because we were doing a lot of troubleshooting trying to figure it out. And then they finally came to the conclusion that, listen, we're just going to RMA it. Let's send it back. And hopefully the new one we send will work. But we had this thing right here connected to the, uh, again, the comm port. You guys kind of see that battery comm. That's this one. And uh, yeah, you know what? I would love to keep this unit and parallel it with my other one but then i came to realize that if this board isn't working the parallel stuff probably isn't going to work either inside here so i'm just going to have to purchase another one for my next 6000 xp that i'm actually going to hopefully mount right here below this one but again that'll be in a later date so let me get this all disassembled i'll show you guys what it looks like on the wall with all the wires out of it and then we'll just pull it down and hopefully ups shows up soon one thing I want to mention before you guys rip everything apart, make sure you label your strings. So I labeled the black and the red with ones and twos. So I didn't confuse which one went to which when I rip it out. And also just because you killed this breaker doesn't mean this shit is dead. Make sure you guys come in here and kill all of the breakers. And what I'm going to do is actually just shut off the switches as well. Not that it's 100% necessary because these will kill the power out, but I just want to be safe, right? It wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Everything kind of came out pretty 
Nice. I remember the hard part was knocking out all these freaking holes in the new one. So, all right, let me get this thing unmounted somehow. I actually, you know what? I have to go get my screw gun. I had to use this extension bit because I have it so high and close to the ceiling. Oh, uh, that's going to suck. And what do you know? They just showed up. Brand new 6000 XP. Let's get this thing on. And she's out. Looks pretty good. Nothing wrong with it. Got a little bit of dust though. Look at that. There's like an intake filter here actually. I wonder if I should uh, take this out and blow it off. Probably. That's quite a bit of dust. I ain't gonna lie. But let's open this thing up, see what it looks like. Got the little Wi Fi dongle. And actually, what I'm gonna do with this thing is send it back with this guy. And I'm gonna take this Wi Fi dongle because it's already hooked up to my app in my phone. So I don't have to deal with reconnecting that thing. But this thing looks fantastic. Doesn't look like there's any issues. All the wires, not that I need any of these. I'm actually just gonna send these right back. I'm gonna send the book right back as well. Um, actually, I don't know if this book is tied to the serial number. Maybe I'll just send back the old book and the old box. I do keep all the old boxes and stuff just in case things like this happen because, as you can see, it does happen. So, all right, let me get this thing just mounted on the wall because I don't have much room to work with, as you can see. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's worse, hanging this thing by yourself or getting the batteries in this thing by yourself but that's a pain in the ass especially when you gotta <laughs> mount them that high to the damn ceiling you guys can't even see it with the camera all right anyways i gotta knock these guys out oh you know what it was this that was terrible to knock out because they got four points these ones are actually stupid easy so i gotta pop out the battery one here then i gotta pop out this connections one i'm really hoping these batteries work after this swap out here then we got um what did i have let me just double check the one on the left here for the load and then PV input. All right, load, just right here. All right, and then the PV input. Now let me get this thing, oh, Jesus, I just wailed the camera. Let me get this all <laughs> connected and uh, you guys will see it all wrapped up in a second. Just like it never happened. These wires, I freaking hate them, they're so ugly, but <laughs> whatever, these are way more than uh, oversized, so not too worried about it. Again, the power legs right here are both eight gauge and these neutral and grounds are six gauge. And yeah, I probably could have left a little more slack on that ground bar, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, I got the, Panels, both sets right here. I got the two ones on the left side, two twos on the right side, positive and negative right here. As you can see, positive on the left, negative on the right. Battery com there. Now what I need to do is, actually, I don't have to go out and turn on the solar panels yet. I could actually just turn on the batteries first. So let's turn on the batteries and let's see if this unit actually registers. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's get all these on. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's turn on the unit. Make sure it comes on. I always step back because I'm a wuss. Oh, totally forgot to turn this on. Okay, that's on. Yes, it works, please. Please communicate, give me a smiley face. That's all I need. If there's no smiley face, that means that other unit's fine. I'm going to be friggin' pissed. You know what, while we wait for that to tell me if this is good or bad, let's go turn on the panels outside. Man, sky cleared up. These things are getting nailed right now. Definitely losing some time with this guy. But, all right, here we go. One, two, red is dead. That means they're on. Let's get back in there. No, getting the warning. All right, I'm going to have to go through the settings quick and see how... Uh, or see what's going on with this anyways. Let me uh, let me figure this out and I'll be back in a second. So a few hours later, we got a smiley face with the lithium ion batteries, as you can see. So everything is communicating properly within this machine. And I didn't even need to take this thing off the wall and swap it out. <laughs> so now I have to, and I'll explain to you guys why it was kind of my fault and theirs at the same time. They and I didn't notice that I read this booklet wrong on the first dip switch. I had these switches backwards, and if you don't have it set to the first battery, 
the first number, it doesn't matter what the other five are, but the first one has to be ID number one. And because those dip switches were off, it wasn't allowing the entire battery bank to communicate properly. So yeah, I'm taking responsibility for it though. And I'm telling him that I will purchase this unit off of them because that sucks. And yeah, I honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I sent him pictures and stuff, but again, it's not his fault. It's definitely mine. I had it switched wrong and that's why it didn't work. Man, I can't believe that happens. But guys, this is the things that happen when you're learning to do new things and you're going too fast, you end up running yourself over. So you have to take your time. You got to pay attention. You got to do things properly. Anyways, is what it is. I'll admit my mistake. And obviously, you know, he's not putting the blame all on me because he was saying he should have seen it too, but it doesn't make a damn difference. I am going to purchase that unit off of them. The one we just took out. If it's easier, I guess for them instead of sending it back, but I am having a separate issue now, which I don't know how to fix this one. So he's going to have to work with me on this as well, right? So these three batteries, you guys know I got these three first, and then I got the other additional three a couple months later. They were actually back ordered, and this was like a new batch. So right here, if you guys could see the battery calm blinking lights, all right? Right there is blinking. The second one's blinking, right? And the first one's blinking. Might be a little hard to see, but this fourth one is not blinking. Neither is the fifth, neither is the sixth. I've actually ripped out this wire, this communication cable, and I've plugged it back in. And I've also swapped it out with the one that is going down here to number six from five to see if uh, it was the cable or something else was wrong. And that's not the case. So I don't know why these three batteries are not registering with these three batteries again this is a newer um i wouldn't say newer model because they're the same model but it's a different batch so i don't know if there's anything internally different um but it is registering three lithium iron phosphate batteries so 300 amp hours instead of six so that's another hurdle now we need to try to figure out how to get over with the rep so we're going to be talking about that we're going to try to figure that out either way guys appreciate y'all for watching sorry for this video that literally didn't even need to happen it is what it is again i'm going to admit my mistake hopefully you guys enjoyed this please pay attention make sure you guys don't run yourself over and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out